in an attempt to fight fake news and content which incites political unrest on the internet social media firms and microblogging websites have now taken a stand to work against these norms however facebook which refused to condemn president donald trump's earlier tweet justifying violence against protesters has finally changed its policies to fight suppression and has also announced its new civil rights protections for its website the ceo mark zuckerberg has said that the social media company has outlined several steps to combat hate speech and fake news as advertisers were seen pulling out from the platform in a live streaming post on facebook zuckerberg detailed the steps that would help fight voter suppression and boost standards opposing hate speech and also label content that is newsworthy in nature the social media website will also begin to label all posts about voting in the run up to the presidential elections in the united states upcoming in november this year It will also be flagging false claims which intend to alter with voting exercise and increase enforcement capacity to remove any kind of fake news. The new policy changes will also focus on ads which target immigrants, refugees and asylum seekers from war ravaged countries. So we're going to add a prompt Uh, to tell people that the content that they're sharing may violate their policies, our, our policies. Um, now, to clarify one point on this that I know a lot of people have asked about, there's no newsworthy exemption uh, to content that incites violence or suppresses voting. And even if a, if a politician or government official says it, uh, if we determine uh, the content may lead to violence or deprive people of their right to vote, Uh, we're going to take that content down no matter who says it and similarly uh, there are no exceptions uh, for politicians in in any of the policies um, that i'm announcing here today earlier the facebook ceo had defended a hateful post by the us president donald trump by refusing to address it he had further added to the damage by saying that facebook is for freedom of speech and that people should be allowed to express their thoughts However now after much criticism the CEO and his company have decided not to provide any exceptions to content that incites violence or suppresses voters as per its new policy On the contrary Twitter Facebook Twitter which is Facebook's rival company had chosen to flag the US president's posts which particularly contained misleading information about the voting process However, the market share of both Facebook and Twitter had slipped significantly after consumer goods company Unilever and telecom giant Verizon halted advertising with them and protested, saying online speech was now filled with hate.